Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Mix. I just noticed that Fusion 360 added a new feature to the Extrude tool, and sure enough, I checked their uh, January 2021 update, and indeed, we do have a new feature called Thin Extrude. So let's take a look at this and see how uh, useful it can be, um, or whether it is useful at all. So let's uh, go into Fusion 360 here, and I've created a few shapes here. Um, just to demonstrate it, let's start with a regular extrude. So if I go up, right, we just have this uh, rectangle that I've extruded up. You'll notice in the dialog box there is now a new option here that says Thin Extrude. And once I click on it, um, it looks like basically it just uh, applies a shell to our part. And if we go here, we'll see that there's an option for wall thickness. And if I change that to two, you know, it just makes that bigger. Basically, that's what it looks to be, just a, a feature um, for adding a shell in right within your extrude tool. So if you're using it for that purpose, I guess it'll save you one click, right? Going the other way, if I just extrude this and then I want a shell, I would click OK and then go to modify down to shell, select my part, um, go ahead and give it a thickness and then you know we have something similar one option of doing it this way is actually you do have that bottom there that stays um, but if you want to get rid of that bottom part you know you would uh, just hold control or command and then click to select it and then that gets you pretty much the same thing as we have here so if you were looking to do this you can now do it in one click um, but if you wanted to keep that bottom then you would still need to go the regular way of extruding and then applying a shell um, so let's look at a few um, different options we have here. We can see that our other extrude features work the same way. So we'll go ahead and select Thin Extrude. We can see we have our taper angle here um, that we can um, apply a taper to it. So for example, you know, really quick way to make like a planter um, body there. So to do something like this, it seems straightforward. And I guess a quick way to describe it is it um, just automatically applies a shell and removes the bottom. But let's look at, you know, maybe some more uh, practical applications here. So let's go uh, right into that sketch. And let's say, um, for example, I'll create a rectangle here. And then within that rectangle, I'll create another rectangle and let's do like a circle. Now, if I take that sketch and I select everything here and extrude it, um, it'll behave the same way as a just a regular block, right? It'll just shell the outside. Um, but if I just select this inside profile and not select the square or the rectangle in the circle and then extrude it and then select thin extrude there, you'll see there that it automatically gives me a wall around each um, profile, which, um, you know, I can see that definitely coming in handy when you need these type of features with walls to be made um, all in one shot, right? Because the other way you would do this would be to create the sketch, do uh, maybe an offset and then extrude those inner profiles. Otherwise, you'd have to extrude each of these separate and then apply a shell. So that can really come in handy for something like that where you need each of these profiles to have a wall. Um, but let's look at a few more things. Let's take a cylinder, for example, and extrude that up and go ahead and apply. All right. Actually, we'll do it this way. We'll extrude it up first and then click OK and then extrude the top part again. This time we'll select a thin extrude. You can see there it's a quick way to get um, a lip around that part there. Um, and we can do it the opposite way also. So if I go up first and then select it and then choose thin extrude and then go down, you know, now we get this uh, sort of cut right here around that part. So I mean, you can see um, an application where this can come in handy if you need to insert two parts together, a really quick way to do it. Uh, if you're 3D printing, of course, you'd still want to do uh, like a, an offset, so like a press pull here um, to go ahead and bring this in a little more, maybe like a 0.2 millimeter. Um, actually, we'd want to make that negative uh, 0.2 to make that work, but it's still a lot faster than doing it the old-fashioned way of uh, doing an offset, you know, and then extruding it down. So, you know, that'll save you a few clicks there. And then um, finally, let's take a look at this last option here where let's say you have like a you know checkerboard we'll say and i'm going to just go ahead and, and make a quick selection here of each other block okay now if i extrude this up choosing thin extrude you know each one has a, a little wall built around it um, so 
yeah, that's a, a quick way to do something like that, which again, kind of, you know, similar situation as the other one where I'm sketching this out or doing these individually and then shelling them would take quite a few steps. The quick way to just get a shape like this uh, with walls around your features. Um, so just kind of briefly playing with it for a few minutes. These are sort of the, um, you know, the practical applications I'm seeing here. I'd love to hear what else um, you can do with it. So if you're seeing something else, a different type of application that you think this can come in really handy or useful, uh, leave that in the comments below. I'm sure I'm missing a few and I'd love to see what other applications or ideas you have. So uh, leave those below. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to do a quick video on this feature and just sort of kick the tires and uh, start uh, thinking of some ways to use it. Uh, if you're new to Fusion 360 and you want to get started uh, learning it and using it and uh, be up and running quickly and painlessly, check out my quick start mini series that I've got linked below. And I'm also trying something new with a monthly live session that I'm doing. So if you missed last month's session, check out the link below for this month's session. Basically, you'll be able to follow me as I created this design and you'll be able to ask questions along the way um, and they're a lot of fun so um, you know if you want to join click the link below all right I'll be back with another video in a few